the more important things that we'll talk about when discussing relations and functions is domain and range. So let's start with a quick definition. Domain is the set of all, and I'm going to have a little parentheses here, allowable x values. Sometimes we'll need to make a call on what's allowable. The range is the set of all y values. So we might not always have x's and y's, so let's give some other definitions here for x values. x values are also called the independent variable, or in the very first part here, it will be the f first set. Range, so these y values, I know you can do it. If x's are independent, y's are the dependent variables. And the second set. So we have three examples here. They are set, so we will use set notation. So for the first set, I'm mapping A to 1, B to 2, and C to 3. So this is my first set. And the second set tells me where everything gets mapped. So the domain, everything in the first set, A, B, C. I use the curly Q brackets because it's a set. The range is everything in the second set. So 1, 2, 3. My second example, I have a graph. So the domain are all of the x values. You'll notice that my graph continues on. When a graph does not continue on, that will be noted with big old dots. But this case, I put arrowheads on it, so it goes on forever. Just have to be patient, but eventually we will get to all the real numbers, all of the x values. In interval notation, we would write negative infinity to positive infinity. The range, however, never goes above y equals 4. We don't have any higher y values, so it's 4 and below. With interval notation, though, we always start at the smallest number, so that's going to be the furthest negative. So it goes from negative infinity up to 4. The 4 is included, so we're going to go ahead and put a bracket on that 4. If you used set builder notation for the range, you would write the set of all y's such that y is less than or equal to negative 4. Set builder, we use the curly Q brackets. For my last example, I have a graph again, but this time I have some discrete points listed. So I can't use interval notation because that implies that it's all the numbers between negative infinity and 4, all those fractions, all those decimals, everything that happens between negative infinity and 4. On this example, I just mean these four specific points and their x and y values. So the domain is negative 3. Here's another x value of 0, an x value of 1, and an x value of 3. The range, all the y values that we have. We have a y value of 1, we have a y value of 4, we have a y value of 1, I don't need to write it again, and I have a y value of 0.